Allman in the Morning, Common Sense Radio. Want a chance to win an easy hundred? All in the Morning wants to recognize all the junior patriots in the St. Louis area. Submit a patriotic picture of your son or daughter for a chance to win 100 bills. Entering is really easy. Take a photo of your baby with our nation's colors or the flag, then upload it to 971talk.com slash patriot. Then listeners will vote, and we're going to award five vote-getters with $100. Students K-12 through are eligible. 971talk.com slash patriot, brought to you by Granite Transformations. Thank you, Granite Transformations, for that. Bruce, how you doing, brother? Hey, very good, my man. Hey, you know, what are the Democrats going to say? Oh, Donald Trump and Republicans couldn't fix our pile of crap. Yeah, right. I mean, that's what this amounts to. And there's another mantra that they keep pushing, uh, the Democrats. Oh, all these, there's so many millions of people that aren't covered. No, there's people like me that don't want to be covered until they have something sensible. I mean, this, this stuff of charging somebody, you know, I got chiseled for that last year, but but not this year. Yeah. Well, you know, here's the, here's the reality of it. And, 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 and I, again, I don't want people to suffer. But uh, the deal is that, that President Trump isn't responsible for the bill. Right. And the, the bill is created. Congress it makes the laws and changes the laws. The president doesn't. He just simply provides some degree of leadership. But ultimately, it's up to Congress. So in the end, the media will make Trump the failure, but the failure is with the Republican Congress. Yeah, that's their game. Yeah, absolutely. And and so and so it might not be a bad thing for this to go down the tubes because they'll have to come back with something different. Exactly. And 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 President Trump could say, I tried my damnedest folks, but these guys let you down, so let's try again. They gotta fix it. There you go, buddy. Fix it right. Thank you, Bruce. All right. Appreciate you very much. Chris Wallace, Fox News Sunday. Hello, Chris Wallace, Fox News Sunday. How are you? You couldn't be more wrong. About what? About what you were just talking to that gentleman about. Why? Because a president... Look, when Ronald Reagan was able to get his agenda through Congress, did we say, well, that was a a great job of the congressional Republicans? Or did we say, no, Ronald Reagan knew, had presidential leadership, and was able to push his agenda through Congress, even though in the House, House Speaker uh, Tip O'Neill was overwhelmed by, because he was able to get Republicans and some, uh, some Democrats, if there is no way around this, if Donald Trump doesn't get this through, it is a, a huge setback for his presidency. Because you know why? Because it basically shows that when a push comes to shove, and, and, and look, I give Trump high marks. He has been all in. He's gone up there. He's uh, met with members of the Freedom Caucus and moderates. He's had them down to the White House. If he can put this full court press on, on his first legislative initiative, and the Republicans, isn't the Democrats, or, you know, failing to get some Democrats to come across, if he can't get his own party to go for it, that is a, it is a huge failure for him. And I think it really puts in jeopardy. And this is why he's right, and Paul Ryan are right when they talk about it. Uh, it's a huge setback for his whole agenda. Uh, because it, it, what it basically says is, we're not scared of you. We don't, we don't worry. You, you come up and you say, I'm going to come after you, and I'll campaign against you. It, it's, it, it basically is, and they're sitting there, some congressman in the Freedom Caucus or whatever, is sitting there saying, I don't care what you say. I'll right. do what I want. Well, here's the, here's, the, here's the only problem with that, and I respectfully disagree because, frankly... Well, I disrespectfully Frank, disagree right. with you. Well, frankly, no, ahead, you I'm guys sorry. who had analyzed this thing from day one have been wrong for one and a half years. And, oh. and Well, everybody predicting that Trump wasn't going to be... Listen, the, let me tell you something. The people who voted for Donald Trump aren't going to hold Donald Trump responsible for the fact that Republicans couldn't come up with a decent repeal and replace. I'm sorry, it's not going to happen. And I, you know you know what his approval rating is right now? 39%. Uh, yes, there's a very solid 39% that is absolutely in favor and supports Donald Trump. You know what that's called? A minority. The same, and, the same and, polls wait, finish, that said he wasn't going to win. thing is that... that Look, I'm not saying he's a bad guy. I'm not saying, but I'm telling you, winning is winning, and winning begets winning. It creates more winning. And look, if there, if he gets it through, I'm going to give him huge high marks. But if he doesn't get it through, and they and this bill goes down, 
it is a huge. I'm not. You look. You want to say Ryan? Yeah, I think it's terrible for Ryan too, and and really jeopardizes his speakership. I'm, you know, there's enough blame to go around. But if he have, has put as much political capital in the, into this as he can, and he can't convince some congressman from wherever uh, to, to to support it, that is not good. The same people who didn't support him throughout the election. And, and, and that's all I'm saying is I, I'm, I'm telling These are you. The Republicans we're talking about. I understand that these are the same people who didn't support him throughout the election. So let me tell you, what do Paul Ryan, Mike Lee, Ted Cruz have in common? They they uh, didn't support Donald Trump when he was running for president. So you tell look, you tell me something. If on something like this, that Repu- first of all, it's a disaster for Republicans. I hope you agree on that. That they've been talking for seven years about repealing and replacing Obamacare, and they haven't been able to come yes, up with that, a plan that, that, that the majority true. agrees on. That is true, but let me tell you something. What's more of a disaster, the failure of this or Obamacare? And so so what I'm saying well, is... The know, de- but we're not, Obama's not on the ballot. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, Look, two, I agree with you. Obamacare hasn't worked out. I, I, don't, I don't want folks to get me wrong and say, oh, he's, I, I, I understand the need to repeal and replace Obamacare. All I'm saying is, then you've got to do it. You've had seven years to get a plan together. Get it together. Obama it. is going to be on the ballot in 2018 because his stink is all over every Democrat who was behind Obamacare. You let Obamacare flesh out, the, 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 the pain will only continue. The Democrats ought to be praying that this repeal, and rep- this, this, this bill goes through because if it doesn't, they're going to be stuck with the stink of Obamacare look, on them in 2018. Look, look, the... the Republicans have been saying, first they said, give us a Republican House and we'll stop Obamacare in 2010. And they got 63 added seats, historic increase. Then they said, well, okay, but give us a a Republican Senate in uh, uh, 2014. And they gave them a Republican Senate and they still couldn't do it. Then they said, well, okay, we need a Republican president because everything we do is going to get vetoed. And guess what? They didn't, you know, they still aren't, I'm I'm assuming. Now, look, I I think there's a real chance. I don't know why we're even putting the cripe up here, because I think there's a real chance they'll get a deal. It'll be a lousy bill, but at least they'll get it through, and then maybe they can fix it in the Senate. But if they don't get it through, there's no whitewashing this. This is a big defeat for Paul Ryan. It's a big defeat for the Republican Party, and it's a big defeat for Donald Trump. Well, I it's not I I do not think here here's one thing that you mentioned earlier that that caught my attention. You said that this, one thing. that this jeopardizes Paul Ryan's speakership. What do you think is going on behind the scenes in the Oval Office with uh, when when Donald Trump is faced with the specter of Paul Ryan losing his speakership? Uh I wouldn't if I were he, I wouldn't be so, uh, what you think that they're dancing in the aisles? Yes. No, I think you're wrong. Well, because, I'm telling you. Guess what? It'll be. Look, this is the. I've been right for a year party. and a half. You got to be able to. If you're if you're given the keys to the car, you got to be able to drive the car. The the American people gave the keys to governing Washington to the Republicans in 2016. They gave them the House. They gave them the Senate. They gave them the White House. And if they can't drive the car, people are going to be upset, and they're going to and they're going to feel cheated. And there's going to be, and, and it's going to show that the same thing that, that drove Boehner out, that drove, you tell me, let's assume Paul Ryan goes, who's the Republican who can come in and lead and, and create a majority, a stable governing majority in the House of Representatives? I, that I don't know. But, but okay. Well, that's um, a little problem, isn't it? Ann Wagner, who's a congresswoman from St. Louis. No, but here's the thing. You know what this is, in my opinion? This is a self-draining of the swamp. They're all draining themselves without Trump even lifting a finger. Here's the, here's the other thing, though, about this. I remember Schoolhouse Rock, and they told me that a bill comes from Congress, not the president. I understand that. I mean, I, I, but, but the president... It, it, I'm just a, a bill. As a practical matter, the president has to help get these things through. When I don't know, let's 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 think of some examples. When they were when uh, they were what? Okay, let's take an example. When Obama was able to get Obamacare through. Now I know the ninety nine percent of your listeners think that was terrible, uh, and and maybe not the best uh, set of priorities, but it was an exercise in presidential leadership. When Lyndon Johnson 
used to get all these measures through Congress. When Ronald Reagan, I mean, they used to call him the great legislator, in addition to the great communicator. He was able to get tax cuts through. He was able to get spending cuts through. He was able to get tax reform through in 1986. It's because presidents help. I mean, Schoolhouse right. Rock is right in the sense, the formal sense of who goes first, but it's not right in the sense of how Washington works. And for Washington to work, oftentimes, in tough legislation especially, a president has to lead. And, and I'm not saying the president has failed to. I, as I say, I give him high marks for trying, but if, if he gets it through, he's, he, you know, he is, it's an exercise in presidential power. If he doesn't get it through, it's an exercise in presidential failure. Well, it wasn't, he was not set up to lead because he fought his own party to get elected president of the United States. So it, so for many people who support him, it's he not going to... He supports gonna... this bill. I mean, you're making it sound no. like he's opposed this bill and he's fighting it. And, and, oh, no, he, you know, I know he supports he's, it. He's all in on the bill. No, he, he, well, he's all in on it by mouth. But but believe me... No, he's I'm, all in it. No, that's not fair. He's all in it on action. He's he's yeah, he's worked his tail off on this. I know. I, I give him high marks. That's what a president should do. But why, why do you think he's doing that? Because I think he's doing it... One, because he understands that when you say for seven years we're going to repeal and replace Obamacare and they give you the keys to the kingdom, that you've got to repeal and replace Obamacare. That's number one. And number two, and, and look, there are some other, I, I, there are some other issues here. There's a real question to me whether he ever should have tackled Obamacare first, whether he should have tackled taxes and jobs and immigration right. first, which I think were much more important than Obamacare and why he got elected in the first place. Uh, but he did, you know, he made a decision. They were going to go all in on this first. And, and having said that, I think he understands if I lose on this, then it makes it that much harder for me to pass anything else. He, but guess what? It's not going to get easier. Uh, how, you think tax reform is going to be easy? And, and on that, they're going to need 60 votes. I mean, right. if I'm a Democrat, I sit there and I say, if, Again, if this, we, I, I think there's, I, th- I think there's more of a chance they're going to end up passing this than you do, uh, yeah. and I think you'll get a lot of credit when they pass it. Not to say that's the final bill, and I understand why people have problems with it, but you know they tinker and will go to the committees and all of that, and and but if they if this thing dies in the House, it's not good. President Trump touched all the bases for a reason, because he knows that he can say at the end when this thing tanks, I tried, I touched all the bases. Republican Congress, who didn't support me in the election, failed you. I'll be back. But, you know, in the meantime, you guys better help me with tax reform. Cause, or, uh, what? You... or what? Or what? What's the threat? Or what? I'm going to really be upset with you? He already is, He's already pulled out all the weapons. He's already gone up to Capitol Hill and said to the head of the Files Freedom Caucus, I'm going to come after you. What's his threat this time? Well, it, it doesn't matter. I'm telling you, people who support him, are, are going to still support him, and it's people are, are get. Oh yes, it is. It was it enough isn't. to elect we, him president of the United States. Enough. I mean, if they'll be, they'll lose. They may well lose control of the House or the Senate if 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 this doesn't get through. This well, that be would be their fault. Deal. That will be their fault, not President Trump's fault. It, he's the one who's going to pay the price. Uh, let, let well, me tell you, if this doesn't the get media, through, if I were Donald Trump, I would make. And you're not, <laughs> you're not going to like this. <laughs> I would do a complete reverse, of course. And I would n- give up on the Republicans, and I would sit there and say, we're going to now pass bipartisan legislation, and I'm going to work with Democrats, because clearly I can't depend on 218 of people of my own party to pass my agenda in the House. So I'm now going to be working as much with, and I know people are going to have heart attacks when I do this, I'm going to work as much with Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer as I am with Ryan uh, and Mitch McConnell, because guess what? Those guys haven't shown they've got the juice to be able to manage their majorities. I've been right more than I've been wrong, and I'm telling you, these people <laughs> oh, are going to pay. Over what period of time? You've certainly been, you, well, you Two were years. right on Trump, but I've been over the course of your life. I don't Everything. know. Where have you? <laughs> <laughs> you what, when, I've when enjoyed you, this conversation. When are you going to have me? Are your phones lighting up? Yeah. When, when are you going to have me on the panel up there? Forget Stephen Hayes and all those other goofballs. When are you going to have Jamie wow. Allman on the Fox well, News well, when Sunday? When you get right and you agree with me, then I'll put you on. <laughs> All-star <laughs> panel, or whatever that is. I want to be there. I'll come up. You want to, as they say in Hamilton, you want to be in the room. Yeah, the room where it happens. Uh, well, no, I think it'd be good actually to get some people from from outside the Beltway. I think it's a good idea. Yeah, we'll, get a, we'll get make a, it happen. Get a local radio rube from Flyover Country yeah, on that yeah, show. Hardly, you're hardly a local radio <laughs> rube. So, what, no, what do you, I mean? What are what do your folks think about about all this? They Do agree they, with me. What they agree with me totally. 
Okay, they're drinking the Kool Aid. Well, wait, wait, listen, the Kool Aid's been really tasty the last year and a half. Uh, how how long? Well, how long is it going to be before you you? Like, <laughs> I was on the Trump train in terms of thinking he had a real chance to win in October of 2015. Now, I know that wasn't as early as you were, but I, I, you know, how long are you going to rub it in that you were on the train before? No, I'm I just was? saying, I'm, the Kool-Aid thing, I, we're, 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 Kool-Aid's here wearing a smile. We're breaking through well, the fence, they, just they like they do in the commercial. They should be happy with how healthcare is going. No, I know, but, but, but I'm just telling you, the, the end result, and I realize, I know that everybody's going to, going to, going to, uh, tar it's and feathered be, President Trump. There's going to be fear but, and loathing if this thing goes down, and there's going to be huge finger-pointing Right. It's going to be a mess. Right. And, now, and, I don't look. I think it'll be overreaction, and I think some of my colleagues on the other Sunday shows is, oh, it's the end of the Trump presidency, right, right, right. and that, and that's a huge exaggeration. I'm yes. just saying, you know what? It's a simple lesson. It's better to win than to lose. Well, that's always true, but but President Trump has a way of winning that some people don't get right off the bat. So I know, I'm just telling you, I'm telling you, if he goes all in on all this and it doesn't pass, and again, I think it probably will, but if it doesn't. It's not good. All right. You have guests this weekend. Well, we do. Uh, I will say on this subject, we're up in the air, and here's the point. Um, it, it, it depends on what happens in the bill. If it passes, then we want to look at the Senate and Mitch McConnell and people like that because it's going to be really a hard road in the Senate. On the other hand, if it doesn't pass, then you don't really don't want to talk about the Senate. You want to talk, if you can, and we're working on it, to get somebody in the Trump White House to answer these questions. So, you know, what one... Why did the president, why was he unable to, to muster a majority? And this is one of the, I'm taking you inside what happens on a Sunday show. Um, we don't know what the, the story's going to be and the storyline's going to be, so our guests are somewhat up in the air. Having said that, we have booked and already did an interview yesterday with the Prime Minister of Iraq, who is in town. Oh, wow. Uh, Prime Minister Abadi, uh, very interesting, and I promise you, I, I ask him, do you see a difference between... Uh, Trump's commitment to destroy ISIS and Obama's commitment to destroy ISIS. And he spent years working with and, and you know, in the Oval Office with Obama. Very interesting answer. Hmm. Very interesting answer. And he also talks, and obviously we don't know a lot, but he talks about London and the attack and why it happened and what we can do about it. Very interesting answer there as well. He also makes a flat prediction on when Iraq will have have defeated ISIS, not not in Syria, but inside Iraq, uh, much quicker than you think. So it's a, it's a really interesting interview. We have tape of him getting off the airplane. Donald Trump, 2016. Let's go. All right, play, hit the hit the. Uh, <laughs> I never can find. I never can find it. In you time. can never find the button. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You, my friend, are a dope. All right. Well, we will be. We'll make That's sure we watch. Was, I mean, that was an interesting conversation. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Can I ask you a question. I'm not saying this to be. Um, do people like us? Oh, absolutely. Really? This, this is Even this, when we fight and stuff yes, like that? Yes. It's, it's, it, I'm, I'm telling you, it's the absolute highlight of the week for many people. They love you. Boy, they love the conversations. Like if I'm the highlight. Well, I mean, they just love the fact that you and I, uh, well, first of all, respect each other and, and that you and I just talk in real ways. And they love that. Good. Oh, well, yeah. That, I, you know what? I enjoy it, too. Me too. I definitely do. And I'll be there for you on Sunday. And also, if you need me on the panel, I'll be there anytime. I think we're booked this week. But, okay. <laughs> uh, don't call us. We'll call you. All right. That sounds good. <laughs> Thanks a lot. We'll talk right. to you soon. Talk to you, Jamie. At Fox News Sunday.